Castaway Key Day, baby! It's our family of four's last full day aboard the Disney Fantasy for our seven-night Pixar Day at Sea sailing on the Disney Cruise Line. We are at Castaway Key, Disney's private island here in the Bahamas. Not only will you get to see what there is to do here for adults and kids alike, we'll talk about if it's worth it, plus some tips and resources for your vacation so that you could stress less while you plan and just focus on those memories. Our family loves Castaway Key Day, so we always try to get off the ship as quickly as possible, so we got our room service in the room as soon as we woke up. Plus, we went to Cabana's and got a little bit something extra because we can't resist, and we want to be nice and full for our big day of relaxing and adventuring all in one. So getting off the ship at Castaway Key is super easy. You'll disembark, and then you have either a short walk or you can take a tram to the main areas, whether you're choosing one of the family beaches or you go to the adult exclusive beach. While we are early risers and we like to get off the ship pretty early, we do have little kids after all, you can definitely enjoy Castaway Key without rushing off the ship and getting up super early. There will be ample space for you. This one's pretty amazing. The families here have sailed with Disney Cruise Line at least 50 times. There are different levels of Castaway Club members and there are different benefits to each level. If you would like more explanation for that, be sure to comment below and I can make a video. Or of course, if you were one of my clients or guests, I would be honored to help you figure that out so you can maximize your options. Most of my guests end up being in the first time sailing silver or gold level. We decided to walk because it was a lovely day and the little ones had all the energy in the world at this point and it really isn't that far of a walk. So we enjoyed our time, got in some great views and we stopped at my favorite picture spot on the entire island where you can get great shots with no one else in the picture, which made my little mom heart so happy because I love making memories and creating memories but capturing them is super special to me. I'd love to know if you relate down in the comments below. Okay, Castaway Key, Castaway K, whichever way you say it, what do you need to bring to the island? Disney hands out towels as you are exiting the ship. They have beach chairs and umbrellas. All of the food that you might need is on the island as well as drinks and ice cream, snacks, etc. But you will need to bring your Key to the World card. I love the new lanyards that they provided. I chose to bring my own snorkel gear because I did not want to rent it this time. Of course, bring your own sunscreen, hats, sunglasses, etc. You do not need to bring your own floaties because they do have life vests available in various sizes. However, if you feel more comfortable bringing your own, of course, you can do so. We also chose to bring our sand toys that we got on Castaway Key on our last Disney Cruise Line sailing. But your kids will have so much fun even if they don't bring toys. There will be some available for purchase in the shops. Or you could use something as simple as a cup to create sand castles from that. This is one of three main hubs where you're going to be able to access merchandise, food and beverage, restrooms, additional activities, first aid, etc. We'll talk more about the three different beaches in a moment, as well as what activities you can do that are considered extra here on Castaway Key. But first, let's talk about meeting Disney characters. Now, of course, there's ample opportunity to meet the characters aboard the Disney Cruise Line, and each of the characters you're able to meet on Castaway Key are on the ship as well at various times throughout the sailing, depending on your sailing, of course. But this is your only opportunity to meet them on the island. So you'll see Mickey and Minnie. Goofy is often here. You'll see Chip and Dale. You could see Captain Jack Sparrow. I'd highly recommend at least one, especially in this location where you can see the ship in the background. Kids Club is available on Castaway Key called Scuttles Cove, and we are not allowed in there to film, so I'll just let you know what the kids thought of it. I like this. It was so fun. They are. I even got to play at the water park. For me, I had to stay at the sand area. But I can move to anywhere I want. Oh, don't forget, it was so much fun. <laughs> That was my five-year-old Ariana. Now, just to clarify what she said, my younger daughter Mia is three, and because she's in that three to four range, they usually keep a couple of the cast members or counselors with the three and four-year-olds and kind of keep them all together so that they have a little bit more guidance in club. So that's why she wasn't able to go everywhere she wanted. <laughs> Also keep in mind the times for Scuttles Cove because it is not open all day. Now remember there are four main beaches, one of which we just passed because it is primarily for watercraft or rentals as well as the snorkeling adventures with the stingrays that is more 
of an excursion, whereas I was really excited to finally get to go snorkeling here at Castaway Key, Castaway Key. So we went to the first family beach. Later on, we would move on to the second family beach and I'll give you some more details about that one as well as the Serenity Bay, which is the adult only beach in a few minutes. But first, snorkeling, eek! I have loved snorkeling ever since going to Hawaii last year and I have been obsessed with it. So any chance I get, I'm gonna go snorkeling. Plus, I have been wanting to go snorkeling here at Castaway Key. You'll see why in just a few minutes on every Disney sailing I have been on, yet I have missed it every single time because I've prioritized other things. But today, I'm prioritizing this. The kids are in the kids club. I can focus. It is a little bit chilly for my husband to swim, but I'm okay. I can go out by myself. So I did. I went for an hour. Now, couple tips. You can bring your own snorkeling gear. You don't have to. You can rent it if you like. Another thing, while I was required to wear this yellow vest, I was not required to blow it up. So keep in mind if you would like to have a flotation device, it is available and pretty much required for you to wear. You just don't have to blow it up if you don't want to. Also, if you want to see the full snorkeling adventure, I will make a video specifically for that because, like I said, I was out here for a long time and I'm assuming you don't want to see all of it. If I'm wrong, let me know down in the comments below. I'm going to give you the highlights and my review. Okay, so why come out here and snorkel? Of course, you can see some fish, limited compared to what I saw in Hawaii. I'll be coming up with videos of that soon, so be sure to check that out. But of course it wouldn't be Disney if it wasn't for the theming. So you can find pieces of ship wreckage, quote unquote, that the fish have made their homes, specifically ones that you will know and love in the form of Disney characters. Can you guess which one was my favorite? Now for the review. Now I'd say this is a personalized decision based on what your preferences are. So if you would like some personalized feedback, be sure to comment down below or send me a message and I'd be honored to answer your questions. Basically, if you love Disney and you like the water, this is a great option for you. I would definitely recommend it. I was pleased with my experience. However, if you were going specifically just for the snorkeling and you're a snorkeling connoisseur and you really love snorkeling all over the world, this is just a so-so snorkeling experience in terms of nature and wildlife. Now, before we move on to the family activities here on Castaway Key that we did this time around, if you're enjoying this video, be sure to give it a like. Comment down below as well because it really helps in the algorithm and it helps others find this video that might find it useful. Thanks, pal. Next, we picked the carols up from Kids Club. Made sure to get an ice cream because just like on the ship, it is here on Castaway Key as well. We love our Disney Cruise Line ice cream. Next, we passed by the shops with Bohemian merchandise as opposed to the shops that sell more Disney-centric and Castaway Key items. We did another new thing for us on this trip and we went to rent some bikes. We did a family bike ride with both of our girls riding tandem in the back and we went with two other families with their two kiddos as well. And this was a 10 out of 10. It was so fun. Partially because we got to explore parts of the island that we typically don't go to. Partially because we were going pretty fast when normally we're going a little slower because we're going at toddler and little kid pace. Honestly, I felt like a little kid riding bikes with my friends again. It was really fun. Now the bike rides are an extra rental. They are pretty reasonable. Some of the options here for rentals or excursions on the island include this list right here, a couple of them. And of course, if you would like my personalized advice on what might be a good fit for you, or if you need one altogether, fill out a guest interest form or just send me an email and I'd love to connect. While you can rent tubes and floats as you just saw, oftentimes, as you will see later on in this video, if you wait till a little bit later in the day, the guests that are going back onto the ship will often just leave them behind and they will even offer them to you, especially if you're kiddos, while you are still on the beach and they're going back to the ship. Great news, there are multiple places to dine here on the island and the major locations are included. That's Cookies Barbecue and Cookies 2. One of our servers was actually there and they helped me carry all of my food plus my kids' food to the table and I was so thankful because I was trying to get it all for myself and both my kids. The food is delicious and just what you need after a long day in the sun. Of course, we got another ice cream before going to the splash pad and then to the second family beach. 
This one was a little more difficult to film at, of course, because I do my best not to show other guests in my videos, at least very close up. And at this point in the afternoon, this beach was fairly full. There was definitely a lot of families there. There were still some seats available if we chose to sit there, but I like to be in the water and be with the kids. So we went into the water together and we had plenty of space once we ventured out several yards, but the kids could still stand. They had their floaties and we had a great time. We became sand mermaids, of course, and played with some of our beach toys that we got here on Castaway Key the last visit. We were able to get some floats that were no longer being used by other guests. My oldest daughter did the pelican plunge water slide, which was her first time and I was focused on her, so I didn't get any videos on that, but it was so fun. My youngest daughter, Mia, really loved pulling me around for an extended amount of time in these tubes and then just enjoyed walking around in them herself. And so we did that for a good bit of time before heading out and going to one more beachy spot before we left. We went back to the first family beach so that my five-year-old could try out the obstacle course like playground in the middle of the water. Spoiler, she was a little bit too small for it, although she did try, but it definitely would have been my childhood dream. We did not go to Serenity Bay, the adult-only beach this visit. However, my husband and I had gone on previous sailings and we absolutely loved it but we really wanted more of a family experience, at least for the majority of the day. So it's your choice in what you're looking for in a vacation. The reason we love traveling so much is because we get to spend so much time together as a family and it helps us build bonds that last a lifetime with the people that matter most. So if you're wanting tips, tricks, resources, inspiration for how to do that for your family as well, so that you could travel more and make memories together, be sure you're subscribed and hit that notification bell. Also, I didn't put in all of the different aspects of Castaway Key in this video. If you would like a tour tips and tricks type video, comment down below and I can work on that if it would be helpful to you. How did you like Castaway Key? Uh, yeah. Which thing were you most surprised about? Uh, Okay. Yeah, this play for had lots of small things. But what was one thing that we might have been you were a little nervous about, but you did it anyway and you were brave? And did you have fun? Yeah. What else did you like that was pretty cool? Kids. Yeah, that's good. On our way back to the Disney Fantasy, we rode the tram back to the tram stop and we got some fantastic views. And the process to get back on the ship is very easy. Um, you just need your key to the world card and you scan and on you go. We went back up to the room for a quick change and I love watching us disembark from Castaway Key from our veranda. So make sure you're on the correct side of the ship if you want that experience as well. And then we went to Animator's Palette for our last dinner here on the Disney Cruise Line. If you're on a seven night sailing here on the Disney Fantasy with Animator's Palette or on one of the other Animator's Palette locations on the other ships, you will likely get to experience multiple versions of this restaurant. And tonight was Turtle Talk with Crush essentially. So I love how they have a fish guessing game which helps keep people entertained, especially those littles before the food gets there. And then Crush will come around to the different screens and talk to people at the tables. Now, keep in mind, you might not get the opportunity to personally talk with Crush, so set proper expectations for your kiddos. After dinner was the classic Disney on Broadway style show, Believe, and we've seen this show multiple times, but it is something we love and hold dear and something the girls definitely wanted to watch. Okay, pals, one more tip. If you would like up to a thousand dollars onboard credit for your next Disney Cruise Line sailing, be sure to fill out a guest interest form in the description box below and I would be honored to help you get that, at no cost to you of course. My goal is to help you travel more so that you can build bonds with the people that matter most. Be sure you're subscribed, hit that notification bell, and if this video was helpful to you, give it a like. What would be your number one thing on Castaway Key? I would love to know down in the comments below. See you soon, pal!